Congress says more war, we say. 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 What Biden and the Democrats are trying to do is lay this whole issue at the feet of Donald Trump and the Republicans. Now, it is absolutely true that Donald Trump propagated and stoked this uh, uh, wave of racist attacks against Asian folks because of the racist way that he uh, talked about the coronavirus in relation to China. And all of that has to do with the U.S. engaged in this new Cold War against China. So it's not just the U.S. government. It is these corporate-owned media outlets that are pushing this as well. You see it all the time, right? And so we see that if what we want is a real end to this, then we won't have any help coming from the Democratic Party. We, we're not even under any delusion that the Republicans are going to be of any help because they're an openly racist party. But Joe Biden is keeping the same policies towards Asian countries, towards China, towards North Korea and that whole region that Donald Trump did. Uh, when I saw the news articles about the spa shooting, I immediately connected uh, it's Asian women, the fetishization of Asian women uh, that is part of this crime. It's the gun violence that's part of this crime. But all these images of Asian women in the spa and the women in the sex working industry, it's all connected to the U.S. troops wherever they are in Asia country, especially in Korea, which has the biggest U.S. Um, base in South Korea. They call, they so call it alliance. South Korea U.S. alliance spending our tax money U.S. Uh, we when we want to end the seven-year-old war they want to continue their presence in South Korea using our tax money using our my uh, my cousins who live in South Korea their tax money to keep the U.S. bases there and to continue the the ladies the sexualization of ladies slavery or the comfort woman using our Asian ladies as comfort women. So thank you for having this rally. Let's continue to stay in solidarity. Up, up with liberation, down, down with Asian hate. Up, up with liberation, down, down with Asian hate. Up, up with liberation, down, down with Asian hate. Thank you. So as a socialist, that's why I think it's important to be here today because we spent a trillion on war, on the military, on violence, and let's just call it for what it is, it's violence. Why are we spending that money on housing?
won't report stories like this. And the main reason is that stories like this become contagious. Because when some people see other people standing up and fighting and uniting, they want to do the same thing. When you see, when you see that when Asian people are being killed, as happened in Atlanta, and the people who come out are not only the Asian community, but the black, the Latino, the white, the indigenous, the Arab American community, that's a powerful message. That's a very strong message. When Asian folks start under attack, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I said, what do we do? When Asian moms are under attack, what do we do? When Asian folks are under attack, what do we do? When Asian lives are under attack, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I said, what do we do?